Are you bad at Minecraft PvP? Do you keep getting comboed and are your hits really bad? Well, I think I may have found a solution for you. Today, we're going to be checking out Gast.io, which is a program that optimizes your network efficiency in Minecraft, which can actually give you better hits and better knockback. We're going to be checking it out in this video. We're going to be seeing if it makes a difference to me and whether I'd recommend it. If you're new around here, make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe if you're new. Without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, guys, so this is their website here. As you can see, I'll leave a link to it if you want to check it out for yourself. It's literally just gas.io. And as you can see here, it optimizes your connection for Minecraft PvP. It gives you a legitimate edge in Minecraft PvP. And uh, yeah, lots of extended research and stuff has gone into this. You can look at their trust pilot here. You can see all their excellent reviews and stuff here. And yeah, we're going to be trying out the free version. And I've also been given special access to their premium lightning account as well. So yeah, first of all, before we do anything, let's uh, just do some regular Minecraft PvP. It's been a while since I've done Minecraft PvP, so I'm probably going to be pretty rusty. But yeah, we'll do a couple of warm up fights. Then we'll apply this, see if it makes a difference. And then we'll try their premium option as well. All right, so I'm on my man club and we're going to do some PvP fights. So first of all, let's start off with, I don't know, some build UHC maybe. I've probably forgotten how to play this game, but yeah, let's uh, see how we go. This guy's rodding quite a lot. Okay, this guy's getting some pretty good hits here. Like, I thought we could just trade, but seems this guy always just gets the extra hit and it's annoying. Okay, here we go. Yes, he's got his water. GG, first fight on, we won. Now we're going to try Classic, which is probably one of my favorite kits on this server, to be honest. It's really good just to practice and then go play some SG or something like that. Really helps get your uh, rod combos on point. So, uh, yeah, let's try Classic. Oh, nice little combo there. So, yeah, Classic's probably my favorite. We'll try and do some pop PvP as well, but I'm really not good at that. And I'll have to jitter click and my aim will just be all over the place. So hopefully with gas, this will hopefully improve like my rods and stuff as well. They'll feel a lot more accurate and a lot more um, optimized. And just, yeah, my hits and just general connection should be a lot better when I use gas. Let's do some pop PvP and then we'll compare it to gas. I just tried to rod that guy. Oh, okay, this guy is comboing me. Get lost. What was that? All right, come on. It's jitter click. No comment. I wonder if Gast will make me better at pop PvP. This will be pretty interesting because I suck right now. My aim's all over the place. My connection, it is good. I mean, I've got 11 MS to EU Mindman Club, but just the hits is so annoying. I just get combo. Like, look at that. I can't even hit the guy. This guy's got like 200 MS. Sometimes having high ping really helps your hits for some reason. It's so messed up. Right, let's go ahead and run Gast and see if this helps me improve my Minecraft PvP experience. Right, so I'm on their website now. So to download Gast, you basically just need to sign in with a Google account. You can either sign in with your main one or you can just make a burner account, which is what I've done. So yeah, you just sign in here and then just go to free download. So it's available for Windows 7 and later, which is really good. I know a lot of people that watch me use Windows Windows 7 and it's a pretty simple UI basically this is what it looks like here and uh, yeah let's go ahead and download it and it is a published piece of software so you can just go ahead and install it agree to the EULA and uh, yeah just install that it should make a shortcut on your desktop so the good thing about Gast is you don't have to restart your game. You don't have to restart anything. You can literally just throw it on and you're good to go. So once it's downloaded, we just need to log in again. So I'll just go ahead and do that. All right. So yeah, this is the main UI here. So I've messed around with some of the settings. So we obviously want latency to be the lowest we can possibly get it. So I'll put that on one. We want our responsiveness to be pretty high. And tuning and type, I don't really know what they do. But yeah, we'll go with fiber. I guess I've got fiber internet. And uh, yeah, we'll go with normal tuning and uh, yeah my connection is pretty stable so we'll turn this on here and you can also enable smart packets at the top here so it's a pretty simple ui as you can see i'm a lightning user i was going to try and use free but it just doesn't seem to work for me so yeah i guess this is what premium lightning does for you on gast so yeah let's go ahead and press run so as you can see here the run button's changed to stop so that means we are connected to the server so it's kind of like a vpn in a way but it connects you to the most optimal server for what you're playing on okay so so we're back on my man club and uh, yeah, I'm not really too sure what my ping is right now. As you can see, we've got 12 MS, which is pretty good. So yeah, let's go ahead and do a build UHC duel just like before. And let's see if this works. Guy seems to be a bit passive. He's not really. Oh, OK. Oh, I thought I could 1.7 in, but he put a block in my face. 
No. There's no way I'm going to lose this to this guy now. Alright, we've got him here. GG. So, yeah, we'll probably play another one. That guy was a bit defensive there. We couldn't really get any combos or anything like that on him. Okay, let's see what this guy's like. Just bow boost towards him. Maximum pressure. He got himself in that. My rods feel really instant now. I'm not sure if it's because I've warmed up or because of this gas that we've applied. But, yeah, it's perfect. They're hitting so well. Right, finally, we've got a bit of hit trading. This guy really doesn't want to lose, even though it's an unranked match. This is a really sweaty fight. Really sweaty. Come on. No, come on. He was like half a heart. How did I lose that? All right, let's play classic now, because it seems that there's a lot of sweats on build UHC right now. So I can't really trade that many hits. And uh, yeah, it hasn't really worked out for me. Straight away, it's feeling really smooth. Like I said before, my rods are just instant, so it's just perfect, really. But I'm not seem to getting any combos. I'm just kind of trading hits, which is a bit annoying. Maybe I need to get better. All right, guys. So I've had some time to play around with the settings a little bit more. And I've joined their Discord, and there's some really good information on there. So I'll leave a link to that in the description if you do go ahead and try this. So if you get the free plan, your only options really are this latency slider here. So I had it before on one, but I think five is probably the best one you can get. It goes all the way up to 12 and then 255s just for really delayed uh, knockback and stuff. So yeah, you can play around with that. There's loads of different values you can try with latency and see and just see which one works for you smart packets i'm just going to leave off and responsiveness is actually disabled if you've got your latency on the lowest so we're going to go for one responsiveness we want it to be nice and responsive but you can play around with this once more tuning they recommend going with restricted so i've selected that and fiber as the type here so this is the kind of internet speed you've got so if you've got over 100 megabits per second then fiber is good for you which is what i've got and my connection is pretty stable so i've got that on so yeah, pretty good settings here. I'd recommend starting out with this. Five seems to be kind of the, the sweet spot for latency and responsiveness is just disabled anyway when your latency is kind of low. And apparently if you have your latency really high, it's basically just treated as default for Windows. So yeah, we're going to try and have ours on five. So just a quick note on responsiveness. As you can see, this is a lightning only setting. So you guys probably won't have this. But basically, one is actually the most restrictive and the maximum you can have it on is 100. 100 in responsiveness basically just disables it, basically just turns it off. So I think we'll go ahead and try it on 100 and uh, see how we go. So as always, we just need to stop and press run again. And that's it. Your internet might disconnect for a little bit, as you can see down here. But as you can see, we're back up and running. So yeah, let's go ahead and open up Minecraft and see what difference this makes. All right, so we're back on My Man Club. Let's see what we get. So if we go to our ping here, it says we're getting about 14 on the sidebar. But let's see what our hit reg and everything like that's like. So it feels kind of weird, actually, how it's going. It feels like it's delayed, but kind of in a good way. I don't really know how to explain it. It just feels a lot different. So my rod doesn't feel as instant as before. But at the same time, it kind of feels kind of weirdly good in a way. Like I just got a double hit there. It's kind of cool. There's definitely a lot of settings to mess around with using this program. And you've got lots of different options with the free latency settings. So you could quite easily find what works for you. There's loads of different combinations. Different things will work for different people. So that's kind of what it's all about, really. I'm probably not going to be able to experiment with all of the settings in this video and find the perfect one for me. But I'll definitely keep using it. And uh, hopefully it'll improve my connection over time. I have to kind of time my rods a little bit now because there's a slight delay. This guy's being really sweaty. Wow. Such a long fight. Come on. My KB's definitely improved. Like, I was literally sending that guy flying and he was hitting me, but it's just not doing anything. So this is pretty good, actually. Once you find the right settings that work for you, it's pretty good. Ah, oh, I've missed my rod. This guy's probably got me now. Ah, oh, he's one hit. GG. This is crazy. I'm taking pretty much no KB whatsoever. I'm just... <laughs> Wow, I think I may have found the best settings for me. So obviously it will vary for you, but yeah, you can download it, try it out for yourself and see which one works for you. So the way I would describe this is it's kind of like playing on an NA server if you're on EU or playing on EU if you're on NA. It's kind of that kind of delay, but at the same time, it's quite good because you take no KB whatsoever and uh, 
it's pretty good, to be honest. Could definitely get used to playing like this, for sure. Now, one important point to mention is, guys, this is not a hack. This is completely legit. So you won't get banned on your favorite servers for uh, using this. It's all completely legit. It basically just modifies Windows settings and uh, and it does it in a really nice way that you can understand what it's doing. And it gives you quite a lot of customizability rather than messing around with registry, edit files and modifying TCIP. All right, now we're against someone with like 200 MS. So uh, let's see how this does. Who's going to get the better hits? Seems we're about equal, actually. I normally just stay in the fire a little bit longer. Just for KB purposes. GG. Got him stuck there. Right, this guy's got pretty good ping. So it'll be interesting to see kind of how we trade hits here. And um, we're winning pretty well. Don't know what this guy's trying to do. He's trying to, like, lava me or something. No, get in the lava. <sighs> Damn it. That started off so well, but I messed up. That was my fault. Right, let's try some pop PvP. I'm probably still going to get destroyed, but it'll be interesting to see kind of what hits I get, what kind of reach I get as well. All right, we've both, both got no knockback here. Just trading hits. Ah, oh, what? Just... Right, let's go. Round two, can we do it? Let's just play aggro. Oh, my hand hurts. So I don't like jitter clicking. Yes, we won. GG. Okay, it wasn't the best fight. I mean, I'm sure there's probably better examples of um, gassed working with pop PvP, but I'm just not a pop PvP. -er. But yeah, I mean, it was pretty good. I was able to trade hits there. I wasn't just getting completely comboed. So that was pretty good. Right, so another kit we can try is boxing. So let's go ahead and do that. So boxing is basically first to 100 hits. I'm sure a lot of you guys have played it before. This guy's gold too, so he's probably going to completely destroy me. But who knows? We might be surprised here. And straight away, our KB, that it's non-existent, is perfect. Okay, he's giving me a strafe here. <laughs> we just keep missing each other, it's brilliant. Ah, oh, he's going to probably win, but it's very close. Yeah, he won. What was that, like 80 to 100? So it was pretty close. Not bad for someone who's never really played boxing. So yeah, that's pretty much going to be the video, guys. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. If you want to check out Gast, I'll leave a link to it in the description down below so you can check it out for yourself. I'm definitely going to play around with it a little bit more off camera and see what kind of improvements I can get for me. And yeah, obviously results will vary from person to person. So just mess around with the settings, find some that are good for you. And it could really help your connection in Minecraft PvP. So yeah, let me know if you want to see more video reviews of stuff like this that I find. And uh, yeah, I will see you in my next video. Peace. Peace.